Hello, my name is Pete, and this is my attempt at renovating my shower. I had an issue with some of my tiles starting to come off the wall. Some of the grout between the tiles was starting to fall out, and I could tell that I probably had a mold problem behind my shower wall. So I decided to renovate my shower and take care of the mold or potential mold issue which I had. Now I'm no expert and so I did what a lot of people do and searched YouTube and the internet and found a number of different things that would probably help me with this project. Well my wife and I went to Lowe's and started looking at tiles and we picked out something we thought would look very nice and you'll see later on uh, what we chose but we also found um, a picture that they had that was almost an exact layout of our existing bathroom. So I'm going to throw that up on the screen here. This is kind of what we're going for right here. We kind of like the beige colors and uh, kind of the neutral tones and so on. And we have the same exact shape to our bathroom. And eventually, once the shower is done, we would like to do the bathtub and the floors as well. So here's what we're going to be shooting for and here is what we have currently so a couple shots here here's our existing shower uh, with a plain builders white tile which we had that uh, with the house when we bought it and then here's another shot where it shows the, the tub as well so you can see the shape is pretty much the same as the um, photo that we saw in Lowe's so we went ahead and purchased some tile and uh, got started with the um, with the project. Of course we started with the renovation and that meant tearing all the old tile off the walls uh, which I was really disappointed to find just green board behind it uh, no kind of vapor barrier or anything like that for protection so the tiles came off quite easily and as I feared we discovered uh, Quite a bit of mold behind the wall. Now this is an outside wall so the uh, mold was throughout the insulation. It was uh, on the uh, wood itself, uh, both the the two by fours and the uh, and the outside wall. So I went to uh, Home Depot and um, purchased, uh, after talking with some of their salespeople, uh, what was supposed to be a pretty good mold uh, exterminator type of a um, type of a product and so what we did with that is we sprayed the whole area with this mold treatment and scrubbed it now obviously you wear a mask with this you cover yourself um, from head to toe and you put a, a good heavy set of gloves on so you don't want this stuff to become airborne so by keeping it wet, it prevented it from coming airborne. So after we did that, we let it dry, and I hit it with kills, K-I-L-Z, and uh, just to make sure that nothing would be released again and we would have the mold completely covered. Well, I wanted to make sure I never had this kind of an issue again. So what I did was probably a little bit overkill, but again, I wanted to make sure I never had to deal with this again. So what I did was I installed a vapor barrier. Now, first of all, I put new insulation back in the wall and got everything buttoned up again. Then I put um, plastic vapor barrier up over the exposed area by just using my staple gun and stapling it to the studs. After the vapor barrier, I then went and got the cement backer board and started to install that. Um, the original builder had just used green board, the uh, sheetrock, and uh, I don't believe that's up to code anymore. So again, just to make sure I didn't have any issues later down the road, I used the cement backer board. And you can see here where I installed the board and then you know taped up the seams. Now, one issue that I had, which I found out later, um, was I used the same shower floor that was originally with the house and 
at the shower floor there's a lip that goes up and I put this backer board down over top of that lip. Well I found out later I should not have done that. I ended up having to cut some of the backer board above the lip so I would have a flush mount of the backer board to the studs. So make sure that when you install backer board that you don't go all the way down over top of the overlap. You'll let the tile do that later on because otherwise your backer board is going to stick out from the wall too far and you won't have a clean finish on the edges. So once I had the backer board all installed and taped up and, and mudded, let that dry overnight, then I came back and used a product called Red Guard. Now the Red Guard is a, it's almost like a vinyl coating that goes over top of the backer board and when it dries it forms a complete waterproof seal. So in the demonstrations somebody made a little cardboard boat and then sealed it with his backer board and when they did that nothing leaked out of it. So it's supposed to be uh, a very good waterproof seal. So you can see on the following pictures where I applied this. Now it's red in color and actually goes on kind of pink and when it dries it's all red. So I started with the seams and you can just put that on with a paintbrush and then I finished uh, filling in the rest of it with uh, a roller which seems to work fine. So it took me um, one container, um, actually not even the full container, and uh, I ended up buying two containers and taking one back at the end of the project. So I'll put a link to the Red Guard uh, down below so you can follow that later on, as I'll try to do with most of the products that I used here. So after the Red Guard was dry, I started winning with my tile. And we chose uh, one or 12 inch by 12 inch of these beige tiles, and we put a nice decorative stone piece uh, in the middle there. So you can see how I uh, put this up on the wall. Now, I'm obviously no expert in tiling, and I probably should have not left such a small piece up in the corners that I had to fill uh, using the cutter, which, um, which I bought from Lowe's as well. Uh, I ended up having an issue with some of those really thin slices, trying to cut those without breaking them. Uh, but I was eventually able to get um, everything tiled. So you can see here where I've got both uh, both walls tiled, uh, and then I used the uh, like a border, a bullnose border around the edges for everything, and then uh, I used a beige grout as well. Now this grout um, is uh, supposed to be a grout that does not need to be sealed, so that's one of the reasons I bought it. Um, but I think uh, the finished product came out quite nice. So I reused my shower doors that I had originally as this was supposed to be a project uh, on a budget. I really couldn't afford to spend the money for new doors. So I did reinstall the new doors and instead of putting a soap dish into the wall, um, you can see here we bought a uh, floor to ceiling kind of a holder for soap dishes and washcloths and shampoos and so on. So here's a couple pictures of the finished product and um, overall I think we're quite pleased with it. It came out pretty nice. There are a few things um, that I will probably do differently um, such as making sure that I have the backer board cut to above the shower basin and not down over the seam. Uh, that ended up being quite a headache later on. and so. Um, overall, we're very pleased. I think it came out quite nicely. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I plan to do some more videos of this project as I continue. The next uh, project will be doing the bathtub, of course, and uh, eventually we'll do the floors. Now, when we're done, we'll go ahead and paint the bathroom so that it's uh, the beige color like we saw in the original photograph and um, hopefully we'll end up with something that uh, works out quite nicely. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you liked what you saw here, you have any questions, again, I'm no expert at this. This is just the way I did it. So if you have any comments, um, feel free to leave them below. I won't be offended if anybody 
kind of rips apart the way I did things here. Uh, if anything, it'll help me learn so the next time I have to do something like this, I'll have a better idea. So if you like the video, go ahead and hit like and uh, go ahead and subscribe. It would really help me out. Thanks for watching.